The sedation assessment tool, or STAT as it's commonly referred to, is a simple and reliable measure of agitation and sedation in patients with acute behavioural disturbances. It is derived from a seven point scale ranging from minus three to positive three and is calculated using two descriptors, the patient's general response and also their speech pattern. A patient with a score of minus three would be someone who is unresponsive to stimulation. A patient with a score of positive three would be agitated, aggressive, with regular loud outbursts. The benefit of the SAT score is not only does it identify the need to administer sedation, but also allows the paramedic to reassess the patient and the requirements for ongoing sedation. To identify the SAT score is very simple. Using the supplied table, we identify the most appropriate score for the two variables, the patient's responsiveness and also their speech pattern. We award a score of minus three to positive three, remembering the highest score allocated to either one of the variables is the patient's SAT score. For example, a patient displaying a very agitated and anxious behaviour, however speaks normally, would receive a SAT score of plus two. It is vital that not only the vital signs survey, but also the sedation assessment tool score is recorded on the EARF. It is also very important that if you require any airway adjuncts or supplemental oxygen following delivery of sedation, that these are also recorded on the ARF. Let's now observe a patient's behaviour and allocate an appropriate SAT score. No, I'm not coming with you. Look, it's okay, I'm all right. I don't need to come with you. Stop it, look, I told you, just go away. Stop! I told you I'm all right, I don't need any help. They're just little flesh wounds. Don't touch me. I just told you, don't touch me. Don't come near me. Oh, just go away, I told you, don't touch me, don't touch me. Based on the objective descriptors, I've identified that this patient is anxious, agitated, aggressive, and has regular loud outbursts. Therefore, I've awarded a SAT score of plus three. Remember, a SAT score of plus two or plus three is a good predictor for the requirement to administer sedation and should always prompt the ACP officer in calling for ICP backup. My plan with this patient would be take a vital sign survey, including a BSL, and administer sedation. I'll then wait for that sedation to take effect and reassess the patient. Fran, Fran, can you hear me? Yeah, what's, what's going on? No, you're okay, just lie back down. Excellent, thank you. If the patient's SAT score remained at plus two or plus three, I'll consider re-administering further sedation. If the patient's SAT score had dropped to plus one or zero, I'll be happy with the patient's management and transport the patient safely to hospital. If you have any questions relating to this video or any other instruction you've been provided, please don't hesitate to contact your CSO or your RMSD. Furthermore, you can always read the reference list that we have provided in the CPM. Thank you for your time.